Koda TV, reconciling humanity to the source. Stay blessed. So, just in case you're able to identify the wound early, will that wound heal or it's just going to inform the doctors that, okay, you are getting this so we can rather start, start, start treatment for cancer or they can still heal the wound? So, uh, the cancer is actually in your body. But what you are seeing is the manifestation. So a doctor may even give you a drug mm. to heal the wound. Mm. But when you go and you take it, it may not heal. Okay. It may not heal. Or sometimes it could heal, but it will reemerge. That tells you that there is something that is deeply going on okay. for further investigation. So most doctors that are well educated in the field of cancer, when you present these signs and symptoms, then you know your age and all those things will start thinking of cancer. So one, you tell you, okay, let me do mammogram or let me even do breast examination for you. Mm. Then from there, we'll take the next action. Okay. So that as early as possible, we will detect the cancer, diagnose it, treat it, then you become a survivor. I know people that have survived cancer treatment after 15 years. Wow. And they are still alive. Wow. So cancer is curable. Early detection saves lives. Okay, so the biggest question. What causes cancer? Mm. And what is cancer even at all? Because... Okay. Yeah. You said Maybe. it's in the body, mm. but me, I know that cancer is like, it comes as a wound, but yeah, you try to let me know what cancer really is. Like I said, cancer starts from the cells. That's the site where it starts, mm. from the cell. So it could be the cell that is in the eye, it could be the cell that is in the brain, okay. it could be the cell that is in the uh, breast mm. or the prostate. Yeah something would have gone wrong in the cell that's why it's emerges so mutation damage in the gene would have occurred that's why we have cancer emerging the cells have the ability one to divide okay they have the ability to grow they have the ability to die okay just like any human being so if the cell in the eye, it's time to divide, it will receive a message, then it will start dividing. Okay. When it's time to grow, it will receive a message, it will start growing. When it is time to die, it will receive a message, okay. then it will die. Okay. Cancer occurs when the time for the cell to receive a message, to die. Hmm. The cell does not receive that message, to die. So the cell, instead of dying, it does not die, mm. but rather continue to divide, mm. continue to grow, continue to divide, continue to grow, then you form what we call a mass mm. or a tumor. Yeah. It will form a mass or a tumor because it fails to die. Just okay. imagine if we, those of us in this room, I give birth, you also give birth, we, we give birth and we are not dying. And we fill this room. What will happen? Yes. So we will form a tumor or a mass. And we have two types of tumors. We have a benign. Then we have the malignant. Benign tumors are not cancerous. Because they don't have the ability to spread to other sites. Apart from where they are located. So they cannot... Tumor, cry Two more. Hey, me can it Hey. Where am I? Abba, Abba. In front of me, Abba. Hey, me it's been a na. The school me it's been a na. Yeah. 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 Try to school and a teacher and he say. Um. Because the word was it was about brainstorming. The first day the teacher was talking about the word brainstorming. And hey, right, Gadiza, wherever you are, shout out to you. And then this guy raised up his hand and then he was not actually standing straight. The, the teacher asked the question. We were waiting. And then the guy's hand was coming slowly. And the guy just said, the, the woman said, oh yeah, God is a John. He said, uh, Madam, 
Brainstorming is like a day be a brainstorming. <laughs> <laughs> And then one burst into laughter. Two more, two more, yeah, man. Yeah. Say, so everyone say, Abba, almost say, Abba, be a bit. Oh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, yeah. Now, say, bet me out to baby. Bet me out to baby. Bet me out to witchy. Bet me out to with tree. Okay. Bet me out to with your fun. Uh-huh. And your pompo, as no pompo, and pompo your balls, as no pompo. Yes, it's in a say be a pompa bobitin, and we it's human that we are referring it to. Yes, yes, that we are calling it pompo, but it is tumor. It is tumor, and yet pompa bobitin. Yes, 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 Yes. Okay. So mass, okay. mass or okay. tumor. And a mass, no, you, you, we have two types. Benign. Hmm. Benign means it is if it happen in your breast, it is just at your breast. It will not move to any part. Hmm. It will not even grow extra big, and it will not affect other organs or structures surrounding it. Okay. So it is not causing any damage. All right. Then we have the mal- uh, malignant mm. tumor. That is the cancer we are talking about. The malignant has the ability to spread from the breast to the spinal cord. It has ability to spread from the breast to the brain to other parts of your body. Okay. And it has the ability to expand or enlarge mm. and cause damage to structures surrounding it. So, it, so gradually it will be having impacts on the entire body oh, okay. unlike the malignant that was not going to cause any damage okay. to the cells or tissues or organs around it yes okay so what actually causes um, cancer so evidence based proof that there is no known cause for cancer Wow. We don't know exactly what causes cancer, mm-hmm. but we have what we call risk factors or mm-hmm. predisposing factors. Mm-hmm. Things that you and I, when we do it, it will increase our risk of getting cancer. Mm-hmm. So the first thing is aging. Okay. Anyone age? Yeah. Yes. So as you are growing from 20 years 30 years 40 years 50 years your risk of developing cancer increases automatically it increases Mm. then uh the next factor is genetics maybe your mom was diagnosed with breast cancer Mm. Uh, your auntie was diagnosed breast cancer your sister was recently diagnosed breast cancer. Mm-hmm. Your risk of also getting breast cancer also increases automatically. Okay. It increases. Then equally, possibly you've been exposed to environmental factors, your work-related uh, factors. Mm. Possibly you were exposed to asbestos. Mm-hmm. You were yeah. exposed to uh, radon gas. As a minor, mm. so your risk of getting specific cancers like lung cancer increases. So, if if I understand you really well, then it means we should be careful what we are inhaling. Yes, you should be careful. That's why we have a uh, safety measures at workplace. So, follow the measures that have been implemented at the workplace, so that you reduce your risk of cancer possibly from your workplace. Mm. Yes. And uh, gender, mm. we know that men get prostate cancer, yeah. and women get cervical cancer, yeah. and equally men get breast cancer, women also get breast cancer. No way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> yes. No way! How can a man get breast cancer? This one we need to we need to understand how. Yes. Yes. Viewers, I believe this is really full on. This is a different thing altogether. How can a man get breast cancer? Yes. Men equally get breast cancer. But uh, our risk of developing breast cancer is not equivalent to women. Hmm. We know uh, we have muscles that uh, at the chest area, we have mm. the 
pectoralis ma uh, major muscles, mm -hmm. we have the pectoralis minor muscles. Mm -hmm. And men equally who have the uh, women related hormones okay. in them that is higher mm -hmm. tend to develop breast cancer as they age. Okay. And my in my profession back in Ghana, I've seen men that have undergone uh, breast cancer treatment, they've <laughs> received radiotherapy, they've received surgery. So wow. we are all at risk when it comes to breast cancer. Everyone is at risk. But women, chances of getting breast cancer is higher compared to men because of their hormones. Yes. Wow. Wow. Viewers, this is getting more and more <laughs> Intriguing. Um, I never knew men can have breast cancer. I always thought that was totally reserved for the ladies. Mm. Yeah. And so. equally, there are other factors. Mm. We equally have viral factors. Okay. Like uh, in uh, cervical, cervical cancer, we have what we call human papilloma virus. I have it. Yes, the human papilloma virus, commonly called HPV, is strongly related to a cancer of the cervix mm. and most of the time you get it uh, if you have multiple sex, uh, sexual partners uh, if you have continued to have unprotected sex yeah. you tend to have the HPV and equally HIV is also a, a risk factor for uh, cancers like uh, sarcomas okay. and also we have the hepatitis B virus which is also a risk factor for liver cancer. And the fact is, we have vaccines for this virus. Okay. So, uh, you should take the opportunity yeah. and vaccinate yourself against hepatitis B. Also, vaccinate yourself from uh, HPV and have protected or have safe sex or stick to one sexual partner. Koda TV. Reconciling humanity to the source. Stay blessed.